Next, we're going to start with more exciting things and I think a little discussion on programming. It will probably be very beneficial, would have helped me. In our compose file, we are going to create a third bot where we can explore programming and adding technical indicators. So this is going to be bot number two on port 82. And we're going to mess around with exponential moving averages. So let's just call everything EMA. So EMA log, an EMA database, an EMA config file, and an EMA strategy. That was easy enough. I'm going to use the my own config file. I'm going to copy it here and call it EMA. And I'm going to use my skeleton strategy. Copy it here and call it EMA. Now let's edit these. So the EMA config file, its name is EMA. Everything else is in order. I don't think we need to fiddle with any of that. The EMA config file, let's rename it. And we must change the class. Now I'm going to come over here and run it to discover that I did not edit my config file properly. Free trade, bot one, bot one, bot two, bot two. There's only three files to check. So it's really not that difficult to track down the errors. So three bots up and running. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can add our new bot EMA on port 82 with our super secure username and password. It's working. Fantastic. So I'm going to control C that and remove the temporary containers. Let's have a little exploration of the programming. Up here, we have to reference libraries and then import blocks of code from the libraries. So a standard Python library is called datetime. So if we import datetime, we can use the entire library that has many useful functions inside it. One of those functions is called datetime. I know it's really annoying that they use the same name, but there you go. So from the library date time, import the function, the block of code called date time. Now we can reference this by saying current day is date time dot today. And I want the weekday of today. So now I can put in an instruction such as if current day is not equal to six. 
because I've noticed that the stock markets, the Bitcoin markets, tend to drop on Sunday evenings. I guess everybody is packing up for the weekend and selling what they've got. So I'm just messing around here and thinking maybe I should exclude Sunday evenings. So down here in Populate Entry Trend, and maybe even in the exit signal, we can say data print volume is this, and it's a good idea to bracket your instructions, and current day is not, oops, Sunday. Now that would be the standard Python way of slipping in some code. But in pre-trade, we use pandas. Again, in the manual, it explains all about this. It's basically a table, a bit like an Excel sheet, if you like. And in the table, it we have many pieces of information separated by candle. It does allow very fast complex operations. So instead of from date time, we're going to go back to the pandas. So from the library of pandas, we will import date time and our code will have to be rewritten. Data frame date. This is the column, if you like, of our table. Date, time, day of week. is not equal to six. So this is the same instruction as before, but referencing the pandas. As this is a restriction on our entry in, I'm going to put it here. Let's give it a test. Let's give it a test by running a back test. So Docker Compose run, just for reference so that we're clear on future Discussions, I will put bot two in there. Back testing time range. This time we need to include quite a few Sundays. So I'm going to do it from the beginning of the year to the first of April. That gives us three months. Strategy, EMA, config file, EMA, time frame five minutes. Instead of strategy, I'm going to change this to strategy list. And I'm going to have two strategies running at the same time. This will give us a quick comparison. But if you do strategy list, you cannot specify individual config files. At the moment, my config files are the same. And I want to see the effect of not buying on a Sunday. So just to clarify that point, if you use strategy list, it will only reference the default config file. Of course, you can make changes to the config file, but you certainly can't have two. 
So our skeleton, 38 entries, 30% profit. So putting that date restriction in has made zero difference. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Instead of not equal to six, I'm going to say less than five uh, to avoid the weekends. While this is running, am I going to go over to Freak Trade Manual? If I type in data frame, okay, here we go, the data frame. Now you can see what I was referring to earlier. We have candles. They're coming in every five minutes. We have information about each candle. The open rate, the high rate, the low rate, the close rate, the volume, etc. So that's why we have to write our code slightly differently. Coming back over here to see what happened. Ooh, by ignoring the weekends, we've actually made less profit. So of course that begs the question. What other options can we try? But you can see what's going on and you can play around with that yourself.